this, um, you love the uh, color of that kind of orangey peach or whatever. Yeah, the light peach, as mm -hmm. I was mentioning. Mm -hmm. um, Low battery, uh, huh? I uh. actually heard that my bedroom walls that color, and mm -hmm. then when I was mm -hmm. in Gaza, um, I went to this wonderful children's center, and there was a room for infants and um, toddlers and their parents that mm -hmm. was painted this color, and they told me it was it it evoked the inside of the womb. Wow. It's a comforting mm -hmm. color, mm -hmm. and that everything in the room was um, natural dyes mm. and natural materials to create a sense of relaxation and comfort. Mm -hmm. But then that's really interesting of bringing her back. Mm -hmm. You know, the wings kind of are a freeing thing, but the color mm -hmm. is a kind of comforting thing, mm -hmm. too. So well, Of course, I didn't have that association. I know. It's not coming back for me, but I'm glad to hear yeah, it's, yeah, it's coming not what, back for it's you. It's not what you were intending. Right. What, what were you thinking of when you chose that color? I don't know. It just kind of happened. Um, that's the way things happen. What Sir Herbert Reed, the late British art historian, uh, describes the magic of art making, which I believe firmly in. Yeah. So let me tell you who these two people were. Yeah. This was um, Sister Maura Clark, born in Queens, oh, New York, married yeah. missionary. Yeah, who got killed one of the th raped and Salvador. murdered in El Salvador in 1980. Yeah. Oh. With three of the nuns, the same thing. Yeah. Fernando Bratsky, 22 years old. Um, he was a uh, Argentinian Jewish, uh, um. Undesa Parasito, 1979, from the military regime. I'm assuming he was like pro-union, pro-left, something or other. I love that face. Thanks. So I love it. Thanks. And then I love this color, too. Thanks. Actually, in some ways, this is a baby color, too. Like, they're both comfort mm -hmm. colors. Mm -hmm. So the wings that uh, I chose to use, helped by a staff person at the Ornithology Lab at the Burke Museum. The, um, the wing I'm doing the draw, both the wings are from birds from Argentina. There's some, oh, some wow. beige in there I've got to draw in there. And the wing that I chose from different ones I was looking at that the uh, collection specialist that showed me, the his wing has like this iridescent kind of blue green in there which i'm going to do in the uh in the feathers so the wing colors are going to match the under colors i did um, oh which the, you did a little bit here already yeah because that this this wing is only half done i'm working my way up so it's then, a little colder yeah but it, it I has noticed, a little less yeah. of the peach but it but picks I, up the sparkle uh, i'm going to add some of the peach because i noticed yeah. in the the on my second drawing visit there, the first one I just did the the pencil kind of outline and some of the feathers. The second visit, which I did the other day, I began doing the inking. I noticed that there was actually some some of this kind of peach cream color in the feathers. So I've got to add that to the uh, to Naturally, the drawing. it was in the feathers? Yeah, yeah. How cool is that? So the wing I'm drawing with her is from a hawk. The wing from... Of, of with Fernando uh, from a a uh, a teal like a type of duck. Can we move this? Please? Sure, and it was just oh, it's not okay. Not, sometimes it curls up because it's. Oh, I yeah. see. Sorry about that. No, no, no. no it's okay. It didn't it didn't bounce side. up totally. So I'm gonna say okay. uh, gracias and uh, thank you, Beth. If I didn't mention Beth Harris, uh, uh, lived in Seattle for many years, and now retired uh, PhD political science professor at, from Ithaca College, upstate New York.